Let's go. Also dieser junge Herr sagt, wie er süchtig geworden ist in Black Desert Online 2024 als neuer Spieler. Ich bin gespannt. This time for Black Desert Online is a game that other MMOs probably should take notes from. It has the best graphics on the market that I've seen, the best combat on the market that I've seen, and the best well, character customization on the market that I've seen. Okay, er ist mir jetzt schon sympathisch. Er hat alles Wichtige aufgezählt. <laughs> Scene. And with all these great things, I still never gave it a try because of its terrible reputation. I do regret not trying this game sooner though, but none of that matters because I am here now. This is my experience playing through the story and hitting level 60 so far. Starting off with character creation, this game lets you make a seasonal character and as a new player, that is a massive win. That's going to help us build a solid foundation for the future. Now, when it comes to picking your class, it is a Korean MMO, so everything is gender locked. But what's really wild is that after a quick Google search, I found out the woman version of the damn characters are basically weaker. With 27 classes to choose from, picking the one that is right for you is not easy. Unless you want to play a support character, then out of the 27 classes, you are forced to register yourself on the FBI's most wanted list. <laughs> <laughs> Sehr akkurat, ey. <laughs> er hat direkt identifiziert, man muss Shy spielen, wenn man supporten möchte. And pick Shy. Even with it being gender locked, the customization is far from lacking. You can customize almost anything on it and spend possible hours on this. I eventually went with Striker, leaving behind the two best waifus, Mystic and Ranger. You either agree with me or you're wrong. Change my mind. After creating my character and finishing a quick little tutorial, I had to choose my starting zone. I went with Ancient Stone Chamber because Google told me to and Yeah, ist auch ist auch also es steht ja auch basically da, ne? Also da steht ja auch recommended for new adventurers und bei den anderen steht halt recommended for veteran adventurers. Das hätte er nicht mal googeln müssen, Digga. I had to choose my starting zone. I went with Lustigerweise fällt mir auf, dass immer wieder neue Spieler immer in diese Falle tappen und rechts oder Mitte wählen, obwohl da steht empfohlen für erfahrene Spieler und links steht empfohlen für neue Spieler. So was, also keine Ahnung, habt ihr da Ego-Probleme, dass ihr einfach da links auf diesen Button drauf geht und euch einfach da stattdessen lieber woanders rein jailt? Keine Ahnung, ich verstehe es bis heute nicht. Ancient Stone Chamber, because Google told me to and honestly that was enough for me. After spawning in, I was immediately bombarded with a spam of pop-up ads and a disgustingly overwhelming UI. After messing with my settings, I was introduced to an interesting group of NPCs. A dwarf on meth, this angry bitch, and her Discord mod. Here is where I would put a spoiler warning, but I may have skipped through all the dialogue. Yeah, after this Okay, er ist ein Air Enjoyer, Leute. <laughs> Air Smash. Point, I just spammed R the whole way through. I appreciate that everything seems to be voice acted who said you can rub your mitts on this without the princess's permission but it's hard to stay immersed especially when the npcs are moving like they took too much mdma and the dialogue is too damn long but the story is not where this game shines the real reason to play this game is the immersive combat <laughs> The combat in this game is both smooth. Ja, man, das Com also, also dieser Com Combat Style ist halt übertrieben nice im Video, dass du halt kein Tap Target hast, dass du einfach deine ganzen Combos. Es fühlt sich halt an wie so ein Beat 'em up, ne? And satisfying. What this game lacks with an immersive story, it makes up with immersive gameplay. Unlike other MMOs that claim action combat, BDO has a true action combat experience. What other MMO can you grab an enemy by their neck and throw them at other enemies? Not only that. Man kann Monster graben? Digga. <lacht> ich muss sagen, ich habe sehr, sehr lange Succession Wizard gespielt und ich spiele auch ein bisschen Awakening Wizard, aber der Awakening Wizard Grab ist halt Ass. Deswegen habe ich es nie versucht. Aber wer, wer kommt auf die Idee, Monster zu graben? <lacht> ich meine, das ist immer ineffizient. You actually feel like you're landing your hits. Because that is my biggest issue with all major MMOs. Every time you fight, your hits don't actually well hit. Instead, you're just hitting the airspace around them, hoping they suffocate and die. This game doesn't have the standard click button to cast ability, but instead has a combo system like in a fighting game. Because of that... Like, like in a fighting game, wie, wie in a beat em up, sag ich doch. 
I can easily tell the skill ceiling in this game is a lot higher than other MMOs. Even though you can be lazy and just spam to clear the content, at least in the beginning, if you decide to take the time to learn and understand your class, the feeling of pulling off a combo perfectly that you have been practicing is the dopamine hit I have been looking for in a game for a long time. I am genuinely impressed with this game's combat system, and I think it deserves all the praise and respect for having the most engaging and rewarding combat system in the genre. I love that this game gives me a bunch of free stuff, but there are so many different items and as a new player, I have und das meiste davon ist halt nicht mal eine 100 sind nicht mal 100 Millionen, weißt du? Du kannst da so viel raus entfernen und das sind einfach und dem einfach 100 Millionen geben, weißt du? Und fertig, aber ja, das ist halt echt overwhelmed. I have no idea what 9 overwhelming 9% of them do. So trying to figure out what I should use, save, sell or even toss as a new player is not easy. I'll try and read the description, but since I'm new, the description for some items just raise more questions yeah. than it answers. Yeah. So I could either Google yeah. each item individually or yeah. I can just toss them into storage and forget about them. But yeah. with limited storage and weight, that creates a whole new problem to solve. But among these items given to me throughout my journey, the most important ones as of right now are these magical crack rocks here. These bad boys right here are used to upgrade my seasonal gear but how you may ask well let me introduce you to the black spirit casino here at the black spirit <laughs> casino you will use these crack rocks as a currency for a chance at an upgrade every time you succeed your chance drops for the next upgrade and every time you fail your chance increases but at the cost of a gear level tier so you are essentially playing ping pong with your gear score But that's with the armor and weapons. With accessories, if you fail, they do not go down a level. They actually just explode. With all that being said, I really do love this game. It's not perfect and it's not for everyone. But honestly, this game is definitely what I have been looking for. There's still so much more I haven't covered and even more that I haven't experienced yet. But if I went over everything, this video would be 10 hours long. Please feel free to give me some advice and recommendations on what I should work on and work towards in this game down below. I had so much fun making this video and look forward to making many, many more. Geiles Video. Also das war wirklich ein kleiner Schmackofatz. So ganz kurz und schn schnell. Ne, alles auf den Punkt gebracht. Also das ist glaube ich wirklich so diese äh, First Player Experience, die jeder so äh, mitbekommt. Also wirklich sehr akkurat. Ne? Und äh, er sagt es halt. Ne? Dieses Combat System ist halt das, das Herzstück vom Video, finde ich persönlich ebenfalls. Und natürlich die atemberaubende Grafik, die es so auch in keinen anderen MMOs gibt. Aber sehr schönes Video.